Hey everyone, I have got a pencil unboxing for you today. Now, I bought these um, with some money that I was kindly gifted for Christmas. Um, they've been on my wish list for quite a while. And although I keep saying I don't need more pencils, I mean, do you find yourself saying this too? I think, well, frankly, it's a ridiculous thing to say. And here they are. <laughs> I've got the 48 set, which are lovely. And so I wanted to just see what all the new colours were in the 72 set. Before I open, I'll just show you, I've made a little swatch chart for myself. Um, and I'm gonna put this on my Kofi shop. And it has the sort of number and name. Now I looked the names up on the Stedler website. Some of them aren't consistent through the packs. We'll talk about this more as we go through the pencils and um, the names, I mean. And I've put which sets are included in, whether they're in the 12, 24, 48, and 72. So if you watch this video and you think there's a particular color that you like, you can have a look and see um, which set they're included in. I don't know if any of these are available open stock, so you may just have to buy the set that's got that colour in. Um, as far as I, the website said that 24 were available open stock, and I assume that's only the ones in the 24 set, but I've never seen them for sale in the UK open stock. So that's that. So also this is in a very old order. I just did it in the order it was on the website and I don't like it. So when I swatched them, I'm not gonna swatch them in the video. We're gonna color something because it's more fun. Um, when I swatch them, I will reorder this chart and then there'll be the final version. will be slightly different to this just with regards to the order because I like, I like things in a certain order. Like here, look, we've got, if you look on here, we've got sort of oranges and then we've got more that look like orange and it's a bit strange, so I'm gonna um, fiddle with that. But let's open the tin. Now the tin had a plastic sleeve around it, which I cut off and it was so that it could be hung up on a display. So it was nothing to, um, it wasn't shrink wrapped or anything, just a plastic sleeve. We've got a hinge lid, which is a bit wibbly wobbly. Now I noticed this with my last, um, one of my other sets of Stedler pencils that the lid actually broke in the end, which is a bit annoying because I do like a tin of pencils. If the lid's not working, they're not that good. Um, we've got this little um, leaflet. I'm just going to open it just to have a very quick look about it. It just tells you about all their products. It's not, I thought it might have a names of pencils or something, but it hasn't. So I'm not going to dwell on that. We'll get rid of that. So we've got um, a layer and you can see we've got these little grip to take it out. And then another layer and another layer. Okay, so that is our three layers. I'm trying to get them back in. They're a bit awkward. I find the easiest one of these to do is um, our taser, actually. Um, the ones with the strings I find harder. It's... So let's have a look at a pencil. So we have, this is the white. Um, we have a made in Germany, it's Stedler. And then over here we have a sort of thing that looks like a barcode, but I'm never sure if it really is. There's an EAN number and there's an art number. And this number here, the zero, that is the num the colour. Okay, so we don't have the colours printed on. You have to look them up, which is what I have done. So this is the white. We'll just briefly talk about the white. It isn't a particularly good white. Um, whites are tricky aren't they um this because it's quite a hard pencil i find it's not such a good white but there we go i'm not going to show you the white it comes in the 72 the 48 and the 24 set but not the 12 there's no white in the 12 set which i think is quite good because often you don't always want a white and you often tend to have loads of whites so there's the white I'm not going to talk as long about the other colors but what i am going to do is grab the book i've got this page here this is Johanna Bass's World of Flowers, and I thought this mad page with millions of little flowers on would be a good place to swatch. I'm going to turn the book around in an unconventional way, just so that I can fit it all in camera. But I am going to come in a tad closer, because you're actually going to want to be able to see the colour as I use it. So we're going to start with the first next one in the tin. This is number 12 which is the lemon. So let's do a flower center. It's, oh, it's come in much, it's so small, aren't they? But I just thought a small design would mean I wouldn't have to color a million trillion things. Um, I'm just gonna turn my screen, that's better. I need to see where I am there. So let's do this flower center here. Now you can see that I'm layering this up quite a bit because they are quite hard pencils. But you can see it does stand out a fair bit. It's quite hard to see really though. So that is the first one. Here we have a number 10. 
Now number 10 is our light yellow. I don't think I've got one of these. Um, we're going to do another flower centre. We'll do this one. Can you see that one? Yeah. Because this page is all the same, it's really hard for me to know what you can see and can't see. Again, quite pale, but it looks quite similar to me. This one's a bit greenier, which is what you'd expect from a lemon. And then here we have number one. Number one is the yellow. Now this comes in every set. It's the standard yellow colour. And it's quite a nice warm one. It's definitely warmer. Th you may struggle to see it. It's definitely warmer than these two. Um, I know the yellows. I'm doing quite small areas. Which, this is 110. This is unique to this particular set. And it's called bright yellow. So I'm quite intrigued by that. Um, I was going to go there. Um, I can't there I'll do this one so there we go oh it's definitely brighter i think you can see that that's nice and orangey i like that I like that a lot this is 11 this is the sand um i think this comes in the 48 and the 72 i'm going to do this one so it's i think it's it's quite similar to it's actually a little bit even darker than that one it's a bit more, mm, a bit sort of ochre I would say almost. Then we move to 43. This comes in every set. It's, um, I call it peach, but in one thing I saw it was called light orange, um, which is quite confusing because there is a light orange. <laughs> There's a different one. Now you can see this is pretty pale. My husband likes this one for using to do um, sunrise, sunset type pictures. Um, he, he likes it a lot. So there it is, the peach. Quite pale, but quite useful. I rarely use it, but actually often I'm using my polys and thinking, I want a peach, but this is light orange, 42. Um, I'll put it here so you can just see I mean, this page is going to look a bit old, but it's a hard page to colour, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to put it next door, and then you can just see the difference between the two colours. So you can see this is a much um, more vibrant orange. It's called light orange, because we have another one too. <clears throat> now, some of these colours, I've been called, I've, um, yeah, I'm a bit confused by the names. Now, because they don't have the names printed on them, most people don't even know the names. If you go onto the Stedler website, you can look them up. Um, they have, like, if you look up that a particular set of pencils, this is for which is orange. I'm going to do this here and you'll be able to see. Um, you can look up, you can hover over the square of colour and it will tell you the number and name. But, like, some of them are inconsistent. Like, in the 12 set, um, no, in one of the sets, the number 77 is called Tobacco Brown, in most of them. In one of them it's called um, Dark Sepia. So that's really different and quite confusing. And then um, in one of the sets, um, the Cyan is called Ultramarine Blue. So yeah, a little odd. This is 24. Now this is the Scarlet Red. It's available in the 48 and 72 sets. Um, we're going to do this flower. I might have to continue doing clusters of colour if this is how I'm doing it here. When I complete this page, I'll complete this off on my own sometime. Um, just while I'm playing with these, I think. <clears throat> That'd be quite fun to uh, get used to them by doing a big old page. And this page, I'm, I'm really just plain colouring because the pa the designs are small, but it's just ideal. And I'm just going to go a bit darker around the centre just so you can see. You know, if you layer them up, you get a darker colour, which is always nice. And they do blend, um, even though they're a budget pencil. This is number two, which is, I think it's just red. Yeah, this is the red. Um, why should we go for the red? We'll do this little one. We haven't done the centre or anything, but, you know, that's okay. Now, when, um, when the Ergosofts first came out, which are the same colours as these, well, there's less of them, but, yeah, um, there wasn't really good red. This is 29, which is carmine red, and, uh, people were very pleased when they saw that there was a 
proper red but actually these two are fairly similar <coughs> excuse me <coughs> still haven't sh fully shifted that cough it's so annoying <coughs> but it's not uh, it, it's okay it's just irritating this one's quite a pinky red um, I can see this one more of an orangey red I think and I think um, people found it that there was a lacking of red but um, they've got um, they've got put more in you can see that's not as many layers as that and you can see the difference in colour now with these because they're harder pencils I find if they benefit from being quite sharp I obviously haven't sharpened any of these this is 299 which is called Carmine Dark this is a new colour to me that's exciting uh, where should we go we'll do one of these little ones um, yes yeah, so because they're harder if you sharpen them they give you a much more intense colour and you'll need to layer them up a bit if you want a darker colour hmm I'm not seeing a huge difference between those three to be quite honest interesting well, if I swatch them next to each other um, they're not all next to each other in my list but I, if I do then that will help me um, this is 21. I just need to move my list because it goes across two pages. But this is actually on the first page. This is called Light Rose. And this is available in the 24, the 48 and the 72 sets apparently. Um, we'll go here. 21. I don't even remember this colour. I think it, yeah, it is in my set. I remember it now. It's more of a pastel colour, which could go with the peach. We have a few pastel um, shades, which is quite nice. I suppose these probably should have been green, but never mind. They're not now, are they? No, this is number 20. This is the sort of familiar pink that appears. It's called magenta, and it appears in most of the sets. Um, I'm going to do these sort of tulipy shaped ones with this. You can see it's a much more intense pink, um, more of a, I would say that was quite pe pastel, this is more of a Barbie fuchsia pink, I would say. Now this is an interesting colour, 222. This is salmon, well, that's neat. I'm going to put it next to the peach because I want to see how different it is, because the peach is quite salmon-y. Oh, it is, it, it's still quite orangey, isn't it? But it's got a bit more of the sort of pinky colour and it's quite corally, isn't it? Interesting. Now, oops, we have the 25, which is just called pink. But for me, I'm going to move us over a bit. For me, this pink, I often think, seems a bit um, salmon-y. So see what you think. It's certainly not like a fuchsia purpley pink. I think it's more on the orangey side. I really like it. And it's a colour that um, um, I didn't have in my original Ergosoft. Sorry, it's coming off the edge of the paint. Shot, there you go. The next one is 23. 23 is our Bordeaux. And this is another sort of very reddish tone. Well, do this one. I know they're joined, they should be the same colour, but hey ho. As you can see, this is they're very square, so uh, they're quite hard to colour with at the moment. Well, of course, they sharpen up and they're no longer square. Now, this colour is 27, and this is called red brown. <coughs> What does this, yeah, this is unique to this set. Um, where should we go? I'm going to go here. Just try that out. It looks a bit red violet to me. I don't, I can't see a brown in there really. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And this one, number 260, is either called mauve or Tuscan red. Now for me that's no mauve, so I'm going with Tuscan Red, is probably what I will end up calling it, because that's, I guess there's a sort of 
Caput Morton violet -y thing going on with it, but not really. Okay, and now we move back to a pink. This is 61, and it is... Uh, I can't find it. Red Violet or Dark Mauve. And this one is available in all the sets. Okay. You probably might be familiar with it. I'm going to pop it up here because it goes with these really, look. I think. I usually put it as the bridge between purples and pinks. And then we have 62, which is our lavender. Um we got space. We'll, we'll do this flower here and we'll do a few of the petals in this, I think, because it'd be a good way to compare the purples if we do the bottom row in this. I was very excited to try these out with you. I uh, they was I was out when the parcel came. I knew it was coming today, but not what time. This is six, which is the violet, and we'll do the next layer with this. Um, and uh, I got home from shopping, um, just groceries, and then, um, we're entertaining later. Um, so we just got in some cake and stuff. Um, and uh, my son's like, "Oh, you've got a parcel." Oh, so I opened it. It's like, oh, nice. I had to um, do a bit of cleaning because um, it's the end of the week. Um, this is 633, um, which is called Slate Blue. So it's not purple, but I'm going to use it here anyway because I think it looks purpley. Hmm. I think that's quite purpley. Anyway, so because we usually clean on the weekend, so. It's quite near the end of the week, so we um, we ran the vacuum round. This is 602. It means we don't have to um, do any pastel violet, this is called. So this is the violet, and this is the lavender. So I'm wondering how this compares to those. I should put it here, quite close by, so we can see. Oh my, that's pale. It almost looks grey. It's so pale. I think purple and grey can be quite close. There we go. Um, yes, so we had to do that, so that's nice. It means we'll have to clean at the weekend, so that's lovely. Um, 36 is indigo blue. Gosh, that's dark, look at that. Um, we're moving into a lot of blues, so I'm sort of thinking I might push across here and do a sort of blue area here so we can compare them. Um, um, don't want massive flowers, though, do we? Um, oh, we do these, this one. How many times I say um then? Yes, yeah, so we normally clean on the weekend, it's Friday, so we've just done it a little bit early, it means there'll be less to do, so that's really nice. And we did our shopping, because we needed to get a few things, some milk and stuff, we just did our full shop a day early as well, so we can relax. This is 339, and there's no farmer's market this weekend. Um, Aquamarine, this is called. It's quite dark, isn't it? Um... Yeah, there's, they don't have a farmer's market on the um, on the week after Christmas. Um, people don't tend to um, go because um, they're still using up leftovers or it's unhealthy if it's like the cake stores and the bread stores and things. Or, well, you know. or um, this is 33, which is one we should all be quite familiar with. It is the cobalt blue and it is in most sets except the 12 set. Um, so no, they just have a week off, so we have to do that, and uh, we can just do whatever we like. But actually, on Saturday we've got a party to go to, so of course by the time this video goes out, it's way into January. This is number three, which is the blue, and this one is in every set. <clears throat> it's quite a nice blue, actually. I think mid blue. Well, my son uses the word mid to describe something that's average. That isn't what I mean in that sense. It's just not too dark or too light. I guess that's what it means. This is 63, which is the Delft blue. I guess it means it's mid means it's not good, it's not bad when the kids use it. Yeah, I've got a party at my mum's tomorrow. She's just invited any family members that want to go to go and my sister won't be going because she's got Covid I think 
I think she's still got it. Um, her daughter's got it as well. Her sons and her husband have already had it. Her other daughter didn't get it, um, but it's it's gone home. Um, has um, she doesn't live at her mum's house? This is three three zero powder blue. I'm interested in this one. Oh, it's a very purpley blue. Oh, I like it. That's nice. I do like that. <clears throat> now we have what looks, this is 37, which is the ultramarine blue or cyan, and that's in the 24, 48 and 72 set. This one's really pretty. It's rather good for water, I find. Um, it, for me, it just feels the right colour. Can you actually see that? Just about. I've got so many blues. This is 333, which is phthalo blue. Oh yeah, I struggled to spell that on my list. I don't know why. I can normally spell it. But, although in the castles, they spell it wrong. Because it's spelled P-T-H-T-A-L-O, and in castles they just spell it P-H-T, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> they miss one of the T's out. This is number 30, which is it the pale blue it's called. I, th um, I think this is, yeah, this is available in all sets. Um, let's do this one here. So if you've got any Stedler pencils, that would be a familiar colour to you. It's actually quite similar to that one, except it hasn't got that green tinge. This is 31, which is called Glacier Blue, and this is a new one to me. Um, what have we got? Um, where should we go? Maybe we'll just move down a bit. We'll do, do you think? I think that's probably a flower. No. Oh, that is very glacial, I think. Very cold. And then this is 302. I think that's the pastel blue. Yeah. I'm beginning to learn them. Which is nice. There we go. Now, our last one, I think, in the blues is the hooker's green. But I think this is blue. The jury's out. You'll have to look and make up your own mind. I am going to colour. What should we do with it? Um, um, this here, you can't see, oh, there we go, you can tell me whether you think that is blue, or whether you think that's green, I think it's blue, but it's obviously on the edge, I think it would make quite good water if you wanted really dark water, oh, there we go, now, we're on 359, which is aquamarine. So again, it's probably a watery tone. Let's do this one. I'm going to ignore the uh, dot, the, uh, those things. I can always go for those in the white pen. The good thing with Stedlers is you can use the white pen on them. It doesn't bleed into pen. None of the colours do. So that's quite nice. Um, if you will have to layer them up a little bit to see the pen. Now, what have we got here? 54. Uh, French green. This looks very blue to me. I'm going to do this, this with it. Now, for me, that looks blue. Definitely. It doesn't even look like a thallow, like thallow green. It really does just look blue. But you can make up your own mind. This is 35, which is the turquoise. Um, we'll do this one. It's another pretty one. Now, this looks green. Yes, 38. This is sea green. Um, I'm going to use it here. You can see it. We might as well do some greenery with them. Now this is a lovely dark colour. I find it goes well with purples and blues. 
I don't put it with oranges and reds because it is quite bluey green still but definitely for me more on the green side here we go very light 53 um, lime green oh yeah I think we'll do it here because this is quite light it's almost neon I think this one And then we have, I think, yes, 50. Is that willow green? Yeah. And where are we? Yeah, we'll do these, all these on this one. You can see it's a little bit duller. It's not as neony and not quite as light as that one. Very similar. And 52, I think that's our sap green. Um, the willow green and the sap green come in all... No, I'm lying. The willow green is in all the sets. The sap green isn't. Um, we'll put it on here. It's quite a nice, I think this is one of the nicest greens in that, with regards to how versatile it is, I think it matches most colours. This is 553 and it is fallow green. Looks quite bluey to me. Um, let's do these leaves here. Oh yeah, that's like a light fallow green, isn't it? It's really bluey. But very very pretty and I keep saying good for water particularly that one now we have 551 light green that doesn't look particularly light anyway we'll put it here can you see all of these yeah that looks really similar to me to 52 hmm no no it's not it's definitely a bit bluier Okay, now what do we have here? This is 550, which is called Pale Green. Now that looks like another sort of light fallow green type shade to me. We'll put it on here. Mm. No, it's not. That's more of a conventional green. Even though it, the barrel looks a bit minty, I don't think it does. There we go. And our last one on our second row is five, which is green. It's just our conventional green. Um, we'll do these. It's always nice having a nice lot of greens because obviously um, if you're colouring leaves and nature, they do run out quickly. But, and that isn't the end of our greens. 55 is green earth so it's quite a dark green i'm going to put it here i think on this one you can see it's more of an olivey tone which i adore it's a little bit darker than my favorite greens but it's uh, still rather nice let's do that one as well there you go then our next one is called is 579 and that is the um the I can't find it anywhere. Oh I think it this might be olive dark. I might have made a typo. Yeah, I've made a typo. Hang on, I'll write that onto my chart. I've written 576. It's 579. That's okay, I've got to change it anyway. Um, I'll put it on here, I think. Olives actually go better with orange, but yeah. There we go. And then we have 76, 56, sorry. 56 is light olive, it's my favourite green. And we're going to just move this way because this doesn't really go with the blues. I'll put it on this one so you can see. I'm taking no notice of the uh, markings on the leaf. We're just getting some colour down. So we can have a look at them. Here we go. Now uh, this is 57, which is our olive green. Obviously another one of my favourites. I like that lighter one a little bit more, but it doesn't always stand out enough. Depends what you're doing. Or these two go together nicely. You can use this one, then that one, then a lemon yellow and get a nice colour variation through a leaf. Now this is an interesting colour. 
17. What's that? Light ochre. It's in completely the wrong place um, in the tin, according to me. But, you know, let's do the centre of here. I think that's going to be really quite pale. It is. I'm finding it quite hard to see what colour. I see. Yeah, it's an ochre. I can see it's a browner shade of yellow, but very pale. I don't know why I went around the edge of that like that. This one is 19, and this is dark ochre. Because we've got, it's more like a brown ochre. Um, we'll do a leaf here, though. I don't think it's a flower colour. There we go, look. And now we have 117, which is a light ochre. Um, can you see? Oh, let's do this flower middle. Didn't we just have light ochre? Have I gone mad? Wasn't 17 light ochre? Yeah. There's two the same name. Maybe I'm going to have to look into that and see if I've messed that up. Because that seems very strange. Um, which should I do? Did I do that one? I'm going to do this one as well. I can't remember what I did. That's definitely a bit darker. I would say that was yellow ochre. But anyway. 16 is our golden ochre. This is quite... This comes in quite a few... 48 and 72... It also comes in all the ergos. I'm going to do these. As you can see, it's a really nice gold, I find, if I just want a gold for something. Now, this is 49. Is that the fawn? Yeah, this is fawn. Um, we'll do this flower. I know flowers aren't this sort of colour, but it'll work. There we go. So it's quite like a very pale brown. Then we have this, um, 73, um, I can't remember what this is called, Burnt Sienna, um, we'll do, we'll do these leaves, I know that's a weird colour, but, I can hear someone next door typing away ferociously. This is 703, it's an interesting colour, it's called Rosewood, hmm. Let's let's colour this flower so we can really see it because it's a new colour to me. Is that red? Is that brown? It's it is brown, isn't it? It's a very interesting colour. Hmm. This one looks like a red. This is seven two two. It's called Indian red. Ah, so it's a red. I'm gonna do this. Well, that's pretty. I definitely have that in with the reds and not the browns. I'm going to have a lot of fun fiddling around with these, reorganising them. And then this is 72, which is English red. We're going to do this one here. This is more like an Indian red, I would say. A bit darker. Nice though. Now we have seven. This is new. A light brown. Ooh, useful. Um, should do some leaves. Why do I need to do leaves? I don't really. Oh, over on the blues. Here we go. Let's do some leaves here. I know it's weird. Oops, out of the line she goes. That's a bit reddish. I was hoping it would be more like a beige. It's still it's a nice warm colour though, isn't it? And here we have 76, which is our Van Dyke brown. So I have to keep pausing to make sure the book is in the right place. Because I didn't want to be, I wanted to be close enough so you could actually see the colours. Now I have 77, which is our tobacco brown or dark sepia, depending on where you've looked it up which is always a bit confusing and this is really deep and dark but it's a really nice one for shadows and just for general really dark wood marks on wood or anything brown really right greys now 800 is cool grey it's really pale um i don't want any grey in this picture 
I'm going to swatch them. I know it's boring, but. Okay, so here's the cool grey. Wow. That is awfully pale. <laughs> I can barely see it. Okay. And now we have 805, which is um, warm grey 5. That is also quite pale. It might be this paper. I don't really want to be leaning on my book. I'm just going to hoik it out of the way. Sorry. Next one is 83, which is the dove grey. This is a really nice bluey grey. It's quite good for silvers, I think. And we have 80, which is our light grey. Are you still in shot? Yeah, I'm probably all squiffy, aren't I? Hang on. There you go. Ish. 85, which is the warm grey. I can't get it straight. Oh. Uh, this is almost a sort of French grey, I think. I really like it. It's nice for rocks and things. It's not good for silver at all. This is 890, which is this cool grey 13. Oh, that's quite dark, isn't it? Oh, that's quite a useful one. Then we have eight, which is grey. <clears throat> there we go. And lastly, we have black. I've just swatched the number nine, the black. And it's quite nice because in some sets of pencils, the black and the greys are quite similar. But yes, those are you can see those are similar, but they're not nothing like, you know, there's a really big distinction. So only these two greys are quite pale, but you can hopefully just about make them out. I'm going to finish swatching this um, and get it ready so that in by the time this video goes up onto um, my channel, you will see, um, I'm just going to come out so you can see all the colours. Um, you'll be able to um, get a, a proper version of it um, with all the, um, with it in an order that I like. Might not be an order you like. What I've tended to do lately is to release a PDF and an Excel file so that you can edit it yourself because I see no point in just doing it in a protected PDF. You might as well be able to edit it yourself, move things around, correct my spelling errors, that sort of thing, <laughs> if you want to, if you have Excel. But you can, I think you can open them into Word and fiddle with them anyway. But just in case you want to. I'm going to check that ochre, light ochre, both of them having the same name. 117 and 17. I think I may have got that wrong, but I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, and as I say, the link will be to the corrected, more up to date version, and it will be in colour order. I don't even like the order of those greys. Look at that. So, why do we start dark light? Da, da, da. It just doesn't make any sense to me. That brown one should be the transition one between brown and grey, and then another warm grey, and then I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to play with it but thank you for watching i hope that was interesting for you um i had a lot of fun trying them out you can see there's a lovely range of colors um and you can see what extras you get between the 48 and the 72 if you look at the if you if you print off the um chart or bring it up on your screen you can see which are with which set i tried to do that a little bit but i think it's going to get a bit tedious so if there as i say if there's a particular color you really like you can go and look, download the chart the charts are free by the way so don't worry about that the charts are free you can download it have a little look and see which set you the ones you like are in you know it makes it nice and easy um yeah you can um the way the charts work is you can put in an amount of money if you want to donate something 
but if you just change that to zero then you can just get them for free and most people do that they just uh, they just grab them and I'm happy for you to do that you know that's fine but anyway but some people do donate and I really appreciate that and I do should say thank you to those people that do I do appreciate it and I try to thank them anyway but just as I'm mentioning it um, it's very kind and generous so thank you but there we go I'm got a bit of a complicated page to finish haven't I <laughs> <laughs> that'll keep me quiet but thank you so much for watching i hope that you have a really super day and happy coloring